Welcome back, everybody. This is Hayes Tech, and this is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech, and I do mean anything tech. Today, what we're going to go over is a rear view car camera system, okay? And I am going to be putting this in my truck and seeing how it functions. Now, the camera that we're going to be doing is called the EUKI M11. Again, it is a 4K rear view mirror camera system for your car. So when we come back, we're going to go ahead and jump into the EUKI or the Yuki M11. So don't go away. Now, this uh, product was given to me um, by Yuki. From now on, I am just going to call it the EUKI or the M11 from EUKI. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unbox this right now. And like I said, this was given to me uh, by this company to review. But with that being said, there were no strings attached. Basically, I could say whatever I wanted about it. And they gave me no direction whatsoever as to what I could or couldn't say. So, that's awesome. This thing actually has a Sony sensor in it. As I said in the past, I think Sony makes one of the better sensors. So, you know, good on them for that. But here you can see EUKI or Yuki M11, 11-inch uh, 4K mirror dash cam. Uh, this is a picture of what it looks like. Okay, it's got the Sony IMX415 uh, sensor in it. It's GPS G sensor. I'm guessing that senses movement. And, of course, it's got parking monitor, which is the camera on the other side. It's got the reversing assistant, loop recording, HDR, Wi-Fi, and, again, 4K resolution. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this now. I think it just slides out. There is the user manual right here. All right, this here is the actual camera or rear view mirror right here. And here is the camera system. And this is where the straps go that straps it onto your mirror. Okay, it does have quite a bit of stuff. These are the straps that go around the back that attach it to your camera system this is the power supply which goes into your uh, power supply port in your dash or wherever you have one okay this is the rear view camera system and it looks like a lot of cable I'm gonna need it because uh, it's going in my pickup truck now I do have a smaller pickup truck um, it is the uh, Nissan but it is the Crew cab, so it's got four doors, so it's got to make it all the way to the back bumper, and I, I think we have enough there to do that. Okay, more attachment strap. This is to attach to your windshield to attach the uh, GPS module. So there you go. That's what you get inside the box. So now we're going to go ahead and put it in the truck, and I'm not going to record a lot of that. Uh, I will have a camera out there you know recording some of what I'm doing you basically attach the camera system to your existing rearview mirror via these rubber straps here and plug in the cables you know to the bottom of the camera system which is here you have your power cable here you have your AV in here and then you have your GPS here oh one thing I wanted to mention these things come with a micro USB card right in them good on you Yuki for sending the product with a memory card. Uh, that's just awesome. Now I'm not going to peel this off until I have it installed. That way I don't scratch it. Okay, so what do you say we go ahead and install it in my truck and then I'll put it through its paces. This, and I'm not going to show you guys the whole installation process because it is very, very simple to install. Notice how it's offset from the actual mirror. There's no way of getting around that because of the camera in the back is bulging out and it's actually hitting the mirror and you do not want to obstruct the camera view okay 
One of the things I was worried about was see how a lot of cars have this right here. I'm hoping that this does not see that. And we can adjust the camera angle, so we'll see how that works. So the rear view mirror is hung. Now let's go ahead and put in all the wiring. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off so I don't forget. Peel that off and stick it on the window somewhere out of the way or right here. Yeah, just like that. Just make sure it's not on them black dots. That'll work. Perfect. In order for me to get the backup camera to work, I'm going to have to cut into my reverse lights wiring. And I'm still deciding on that. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Because basically, you know, all I need to do is be able to see behind me. And there you can see. And if you want to just see this whole view, is you just swipe like that. So this is behind me. And again, you can adjust this. That's the end of my tailgate. So you can adjust that just like that. Uh, swipe again. Split view. Front view. Again, we can slide the view whichever way we want to go. And I was worried that I was going to see these little black dots. And I'm not... Well, there, you can see it right there. You know, you want to be able to see the front of your vehicle anyways. In case you get into an accident, you want to be able to see what you're doing as well. So that's kind of the view you kind of want right there anyways. So, okay, everybody, I have this installed. Now, this is not professionally installed. I will eventually hide all the wires, and I will also take this over to my mechanic and have him wire in that power wire to the reverse system. But we're not going to get that on camera, uh, just so that I have the reverse camera working properly. But uh, the reverse camera works without that. But here's the thing. Whenever I put this into reverse, it doesn't know that it's in reverse. But you still get a reverse camera. You just don't get, you know, that whole reverse camera system, okay? And again, I'm not going to do it because I'll end up screwing something up. And in this truck, you have to take the whole light assembly out, and, and I'm not going to mess with that. There you go. Now, remember, I can swipe over. That is the front view, swipe again, that is my rear view. So if I want to use this as my rear view mirror only, there we go. We are going to go for a quick drive. I mean, it's actually pretty nice. And there we go. Now, again, if I want the front view camera, there, that's the front view camera. And again, it is recording. You can see the little red light blinking there. my front view that's what I want a full screen front view I guess I mean to be honest with you I don't need to see my front view but it is recording that way and it is recording rearward as well so that's nice now I really don't want this system as a backup system to be honest with you guys I don't need that whole backup system I've got a lot of experience backing vehicles up but I like this because it records everything so if an accident happens I'm covered again one more swipe switches to the reverse camera another swipe split camera that's actually a pretty nice view but there you guys go that is how this system works and the nice thing about it is it comes with an SD card already in it. So you don't even have to do that. And it is a 64 gigabyte SD card. And in the settings, you can have that for loop recording, which I do. 
so it's always going to be recording and whenever the SD card starts to get full it'll just start re-recording over top of itself um, but by that time anything that you might have wanted to you know get out of it because say you're in an accident uh, it would be already on there so um, there you there you guys go this is how the system works and what do you say we go ahead and close this video out so what do I think of the EUKI M11 or the EUKI M11 now that I've had a chance to use it in my truck I was quite impressed with it to be honest I've been wanting to do a video on one of these kind of camera systems that you get for your car and not so much the backup camera because I really don't need that but I wanted something where if I went on a long trip I'd be able to have a camera system that would record everything that way I've got everything videoed and that way I have proof whether or not it was my fault you know or not and that's one of the great things about having a camera system on your car is for that reason alone now it is nice that you have backup systems like this one has in it where it's it's basically a backup assist it kind of gives you lines telling you which way to go and all that now I've been driving now for quite some time I don't need a backup camera assist but it's nice that they have that now I do have two things that I didn't find that I liked hundred percent okay they're not really complaints they are what they are and I know that all of the other car camera systems that replace your rear view mirror are pretty much the same as this and they're all gonna have this number one I didn't think that the brightness level was you know bright enough so if you're in a really bright area where the sunlight's really coming in, it's kind of hard to see your view. It's not to say that you can't see it, but it is, you know, not as bright as I would like to see it. And I had everything set at full brightness. The other complaint, and it's not really a complaint, it's just something I don't use, and that's the backup assist. In order to use the backup assist, you have to be able to hook into your reverse lights, okay? Because that's how these camera systems know when you're backing up. Whenever your reverse lights come on, it tells the backup assist feature to turn on. For somebody that may want that feature, you you're going to want to be comfortable with cutting and splicing into the wires going to your lighting system, okay? Because that's the only way that you can get any of these backup assist programs to work they work off of your reverse lights as soon as you put it in reverse your reverse lights come on and you basically have to cut and splice in to your reverse lights to get power to go to the camera system and again once it gets power from the reverse lights it automatically switches over to the reverse assist program on this now the other thing I wanted to mention was the app now the app is called YouTube Cam, and you can download it from the Play Store or from iOS. And I downloaded it both on my Google Pixel 2 XL and on my Samsung tablet, which is only a year old. And I couldn't get the app on either device to connect with the camera system. Now that could be my phones. It could be, you know, an app issue. I don't know, but. I couldn't get it to connect. Now, do I really need that app? No. I mean, it, the controls for everything are right there. And if you want to pull any videos out of the system to view and you want the highest quality, you're going to want to pop out that SD card and do it that way anyways. Um, if you try to use the app, you're going to get a lower quality video. And, you know, again, I suggest pulling the SD card out, popping it into your computer, and doing it that way. All right. So, those are the few things that you know I found fault with and again you're gonna have that issue with all of these rear view mirror you know camera systems okay it's not just EUKI it's gonna be all of them and my suggestion for the wiring if you're not comfortable with it take it to a professional have them wired in I want to thank EUKI again for sending me the M11 to throw into my vehicle and give it a go and see what I thought. And again, they gave me no directions whatsoever 
as to what I could say or what I couldn't say. And I have to commend them for that because uh, not a lot of companies would do that. So thank you again, EUKI or EUKI, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, I do appreciate it. If you have any questions on this camera system at all, comment below. Do you have one? Let me know, you know, do you like it? Is it helping you out? You know, all that. Because I'm sure other people out there would like to know what you think of yours if you have one too. That's pretty much it. Again, thank you EUKI for giving me the opportunity to make this video. And thank all of you for watching. And I will see you all on the next one.